Hi everybody, it's Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy, and uh, a couple weeks ago I posted a, a short uh, video clip of something I was working on at the shop, live from the tool room, live from the shop, and I think those are really popular, you guys like those, and uh, it's real life manufacturing is what I like to call it, and uh, you know, there's a lot of ways you can do things, but I get paid personally to get things done quickly, and that's what I've always tried to teach on uh, toolanddieguy.com. So this is a quick uh, couple lessons for you today, I hope you enjoy them. Uh, they're not always the, uh, what do I want to say? There's more than one way to skin a cat. This is how I chose to do it. So if anything, I hope it plants a little idea in your head that you can maybe use for your next setup. So let's take a look at these two parts that came across my bench this week. Okay, so excuse the noise, it's loud in here, but uh, today's project's 304 stainless uh, steel shafts came my way from the lathe department. My first operation was to Mill this slot in here, okay? But my second operation is to shave these holes, nine holes in the side, okay? With a flat bottom. So the question is, how do I align the five holes 90 degrees to the slot that I've already milled there? Let's see in a moment. All right, so a couple things you're thinking already. Probably almost could just butt this up against the vice jaw. Let's see how that would look. See what I'm saying? And it will probably find the flat spot. I'm concerned though that maybe depending on how hard you push this, you're just gonna peed these edges over and you'll never be in the center of the shaft, all right? So the better way to do this, I just made up a vice jaw with a tongue on it. And let's see here, the magic trick here stop set but if we look we have a gap in there you see that so we are not hitting the shaft we're just barely missing it but we're bottoming out on the bottom of the slot so we're never going to peen over these these edges and we'll always find the center of the shaft all right so then the last thing is to check the depth of these things now we can actually uh, use the original thought process here, right? Basically, we're gonna just use a grinding vise, which is a lot lighter pressure than a curved vise, okay? Excuse me. So I can align that up against, just like that, against the fixed jaw. Then I can come down here, and I've altered my uh, point here, I'm just using an ejector pin, and we'll zero on the top of the shaft. one I'm supposed to be 220 plus or minus five okay so we're good so that's the uh, thought process behind this little quick two minute project okay today's shop project live from the shop here right got these parts that were for our fabrication department all right they need to have this uh, 30 degree angle, 60, 30. I, I'm going with the 30 degree cutter to give me the 60 from that side. You get it on both ends, both sides. Now, compounding the issue here is, excuse me, these aren't all exactly the same width because they were formed. They vary by as much as 25 or 30 thousandths. So how am I ever gonna get this to look like this? Okay, so there's one that's done. So obviously we gotta grab these in a vise, all right? But how am I ever gonna get them flat? So let me show you what I came up with. Just hold it. Let's go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is set the part in like this, right? And then this movable stop comes up and flattens it. So now we know we're not, we're not tipped. Then I take a two inch gauge block Push the part up against it, tighten the vise, pull that out, pull that out, and we're going to rinse and repeat. We're going to turn it around again because they're not the same width. Okay, so I'm going to start the cutter, no coolant, just to see what's going on here. And I just step that down, about 25,000 feet. 
all right? And that's it from here. I'm Phil Kerner, the Tool and Die Guy, and I hope you found a few of those tips uh, useful. Uh, maybe you got stirred some things up in your head that you might be able to apply to your next setup. And uh, we'll see you from Erie, Pennsylvania on the next lesson.